Stephen had a, a motorcycle accident. We're not even sure, he's not even sure what he hit because he was knocked out for a prolonged period of time. Um, but he had multiple injuries, so both of his arms were broken. Uh, his right leg had a severe injury with uh, uh, comminution of the, of the bone um, and tissue loss, skin uh, loss uh, in front of the leg. Um, and, uh, and he also had multiple facial fractures. Uh, and so w what we did was to put together his facial fractures as best we could, but we were also aware of the fact that he had an eye injury and that the ophthalmologist didn't want us to do anything too much that might damage his eyesight. Well, uh, that was a good move because his eyesight has mostly recovered. Uh, but the problem was that we didn't get his cheekbone in the right place and we didn't even try to reconstruct the very thin bones around his eye socket. So the result was that his cheekbone was too far out and his um, eye was sunk in. Uh, and uh, so we had to try to put everything back together uh, where they should have been. The problem in doing that was that it was a very complicated fracture. Um, all the bones had knitted together, but in the wrong place. Um, and so we had to work out a way of how we were going to split them. And so eventually we, we had to make guides as to how we would cut the bone, exactly as we wanted it to be, and of course making the bone symmetrical. Um, and then we had to have guides to reposition the bone, and, and then a custom-made plate to put everything back together, and a custom-made uh, sheet of titanium, both of these were in titanium, that um, uh, was fitting underneath the eye socket. Everything that we used was made by 3D printing. And this is really the first time that we've taken it to this stage where it's really everything to the very last screw that's been inserted has been planned and modelled in advance and has worked sweetly. Well, from the operation point of view, they couldn't believe how well it did go, and that was obviously from their planning and their technology and experience in doing that sort of thing. But I was surprised how well it did actually go, because mm. they didn't seem to get any sort of glitch. To be honest, I thought they did a good job in the beginning anyway, because of how bad my accident was, and they obviously repaired the one side of my face, and it's relatively perfect and the other side they couldn't work on because of my eye socket and eye damage which the eye people said that they didn't want him to work to just in case I was able to get any sort of vision back in the eye mm -hmm. but from this operation I've I can't really explain how well it has gone and just made me look a hell of a lot better I take my hat off to them because they were the ones doing all the work and I'm just the one benefiting from it